All right, Transfer Tuesday, the one day of the week, we take a look at our money goals and see if we have any money moves we can make towards our financial goals. If you are new here, in the last four years, I have paid off over $140,000 worth of debt, plus saved up another 22,000-ish so far this year in 2022 to drop on my student loans when the forbearance ends. And the only way I've been able to do all of that is by paying attention to where my money's going and making a conscious effort every single week to make sure I'm prioritizing my debt at this time. So that being said, hello, my name is Rachel. If you are new here, thank you for stopping by. Before I get into the transfers of the last week, I just want to say Thank you guys so very much for all of your positive comments and support on my last video about kind of struggling with this whole debt-free journey and trying to reach uh, financial independence and live an intentional life without debt and not necessarily having people in your day-to-day -day life that support you and your decisions and <sighs> you guys are awesome. It seemed like the video really resonated with a lot of you, which of course, we all know is something we kind of still struggle with in society as a whole because it is still so socially acceptable to live with debt and it's so normalized and consumerist expending. I mean, advertisements are everywhere, right? So it's really hard to go against the grain and live a bit differently than most people really want to do. So. Thank you all so much for being so kind with that video. I never know how those kind of videos are gonna resonate just because most of my channel is this kind of talking head style, but I actually enjoy making those kind of vlog style voiceover videos, which you guys seem to like as well. So if you do, let me know in the comments, should I make more of that style video? I think I will anyway, but I can really start incorporating them more even in these boring weekly videos, but let me know what you think. Either way, thank you guys so much. You guys are amazing. Of course, as I said in the video, and as I always say in the comments, this community and you guys here that come and watch my videos and comment on them with support and all that kind of stuff is, it provides for me that support that I absolutely need and don't necessarily get in my day-to-day -day life. So I turn to you all and this community and I just love it so much. I'm so thankful I started this channel and found you guys because you guys definitely keep me going when I don't necessarily want to in my day-to-day -day life. So, oh, it just means so much to me. I just had to get that out of the way. Other news, the student loan debt relief application, as I'm sure you're all aware of, is live at this time, uh, even though unfortunately the whole debt relief <sighs> process has been federally blocked by lawsuits and such, and it's a bit messy at the moment. Uh, Hopefully, I don't know, soon-ish, we'll, you know, the government can kind of come to a decision on whether or not they are going to go forward with the debt relief. So I'm sure if you have student loans, you've been keenly attuned into this whole storyline. But basically, uh, President Biden's decision to forgive 10000 or up to 20000 if you got Pell Grants in undergrad which I did, but <laughs> um, I don't qualify because of my income. So like I said, the application is live and you can submit it even though it's kind of blocked by the federal courts at this time. Any application it's submitted now is still going to be processed once, if and when, I guess the process does resume and we're allowed to go forward with it. So certainly submit that. I would highly recommend submitting that. I'll put um, a link down below and I'll put it on screen here. Um, I'm, again, if you have student loans, I'm sure you're way ahead of me, but I just figured I would put that out there since my entire existence of life for the last few years, the whole point of this channel is my student loan debt. So <laughs> I'm sure that's why many of you are here. Anyway, transfers. Uh, so this week, I only have one thing to share from the past week and then I'm gonna be doing a live transfer. But uh, this past week, I got my October uh, paycheck from YouTube, so that was, that goes right to my emergency fund, as y'all know, and yes, I am aware I need to pay quarterly estimated taxes on those, which I need to figure out how to do for this here last quarter. <laughs> Any tips or advice, let me know, uh, but 
for right now, um, I put last month's paycheck, which was my first one, and then this month's paycheck. I'm just putting them in my emergency fund for now because I don't need that money to live on. It's just bonus money, which is amazing. Thanks to you all. Again, love you guys. Oh my gosh. Uh, but the emergency fund before that was sitting at $2,420, and my YouTube paycheck was $109.30, so $9 higher than last month so that's exciting and so that in added to my emergency fund is two thousand five hundred and seventy seven dollars so we're officially over a quarter of the way there to the ten thousand dollar goal that i have for my emergency fund which is super exciting and now for today's live transfer it is october 25th and i just realized i still haven't done my monthly donation so i am going to do that right now as you all know, I have been donating to Layla over at Debt Over It, Personal Finances with Layla, just to help her on her student loan journey. I'm very excited for her. If the student loan debt forgiveness goes through, she will be debt free, which is amazing. Um, but I still want to donate to her anyway, just because I know a lot of you came from, to this channel from her channels, but if you don't know, she... Um, hasn't had the opportunity to contribute to a 401k before her current job, which she just got, I think, within the last year. So um, even if she doesn't need this money for student loans, I think it's cool that I can still help her maybe invest that. So I'm still here for that. You know, I know she says like, oh, feel free to give your money elsewhere. It's all be debt free now. But I still think investing is just important as debt payoffs. So I'm still here for it and she still inspires me and plus she's been putting out a ton of videos keeping us updated on the, um, all the student loan happenings so if you are needing more info about uh, kind of what's going on with those broken down into more normal person understanding I definitely recommend checking out her channel she's been posting tons of videos about that stuff so I'm still here to support her and keep going because she's like I've always said, inspired me to uh, start this channel. So thank you, Leila. So Venmo is fighting me right now, but as soon as I get this straightened out, I'll put a screenshot up here for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And again, thank you so much for the amazing support on my last video. In every video, I'm just in awe of you guys and your support every single week. It means so much. I will see you guys in the next one.